a long time. Uh, but in the in the uh, advancement of things, I compelled to still uh, see a bit more improvement that we can still do in in ODL in in PPJJ in uh, specifically and ODL uh, or those who are offering ODL or preparing content for ODL or learning by ODL uh, generally. Uh, okay, that is uh, my com my uh, presentation in English or in Malay. Tapi slide in English lah orang. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, kind of long story short. Long story short. Uh, this is kind of uh, I need to di di let's digress a little bit because this is a uh, uh, pertinent to the discussion. We have our pre-COVID uh, traditional way of lectures in the lecture room. Uh, you, you, you have seen this image, I think, a million times already. If they were to get some royalty, they probably be rich by now. And uh, you know, but but the 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 world took a change when uh, our friend COVID appeared on in 2020, and I think in March 11th, I think the WHO declared. COVID-19, a pandemic. So then the institutional based learning was in shambles globally. You know, uh, this is a very, very new experience uh, for everybody in the world. Semua, apa orang kata, in Bahasa Malaysia kita, orang kata terkejut gagap lah. Eh? <laughs> gagap tak gagap, tak tahu lah. Okay, so uh, in, uh, now we have, uh, we are, well, three or four years in past, well, not yet four years, three years past COVID, I was just wondering whether what has changed in terms of uh, uh, how we do things and how we used to do things. But this this report, a three year old report from Stephen James said COVID-19 is our best chance to change universities for good. I'm not sure whether that, that has happened or not. I did not do a research, but the way I see it, from what I can see, I don't think it has changed very much. It has changed a little bit from the standpoint of the use of technology. And and the skeptics of ODL are now silenced because uh, when uh, COVID nineteen successfully shut down everything, ministers, ministries, learning institutions, vice chancellor also stayed at home, <laughs> lecturers and learner, uh, everybody couldn't move. So face to face teaching was uh, uh, put to rest for a short while, and right? and then uh, but 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 those who are not used to distant learning open learning uh had a surprise coming because um as students of full time who are used to face to face blah 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 who are not at home do not want passive distant learning models of learning you know because people started to uh duplicate face to face by odl so <laughs> Uh, long old story lah. If you have lectures from eight to nine, on nine eight to five on nine, <laughs> budak pun lembek, lecturer pun lembek. <laughs> you know, but I work. It's good experience. I think it's an excellent experience. And the world went through a three year, two years of forced experimentation because we had no other way to do it. And now you have this. Uh, Okay, Prof Karim, I see your face there. Now your face also appeared in my slide because and then everybody was what, scrambling uh, to go online because there was no other choice because everybody was in their own home. So voila, online made uh, an appearance, rear its head and say, you know, ODL is here to stay and is still here to stay, which is very good, you know, uh, when God plans, <laughs> he plans very well. And also, there are so many champions out there, you know, familiar names in ODL uh, have uh, contributed very well, very nicely, I must say. Uh, very good, bravo, I would say. Thank you so much. Yeah, 
Okey dah. Can you hear me? Okay. Daripada attendees. Apa jadi? Oh, attendees lah. Oh, okay. yo. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, betul. Ah, ya. Attendees pun naughty tu. <laughs> okay, Prof. Saya cuma dekat. Uh, kejap, kejap. Where's my slide? Hmm. Di mana pula slide ni? Share content. Okey. Tahu ada macam ni eh. Wish apa share tu application dah dah. Ni ah masalah ni sis my 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 always problem. Ha. Okey, stop sharing. Okey, let me start again. Hmm. Uh, okay, boleh tak? Okay. Okay, boleh, boleh nampak. Okay, okay, okay. So, where was I? Where I was at Karim's face. <laughs> yeah, Karim was a popular figure when the, when, 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 when it's all uh, anything. I think it's a good Okay lah. Anyway, this, uh, that was the way to go when uh, COVID came by and uh, that was then. Uh, now, now it should be different now a very different different landscape altogether we talk about uh live and interactive uh chat we got live sales you can go tiktok and buy 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 stuff uh, recording lectures uh, depositories banks collaboration work from home now the workplace has become a very very different place altogether and it's kind of a acceptable now i mean everybody everybody now i think has a smartphone that functions uh, even in the kampung uh, you know people are ordering food uh, using google maps ways and whatnot so i think i would like to say that everyone now have access as opposed to before when some people have some people don't because we were still kind of institutional base and ODL was exclusive for those uh, studying online uh, on only 
So, so those who are not online can be bothered. But now it's become a norm that, that online thingy. So, in so far as PJJ is concerned, if I can kind of quickly, which these of you all know, the kind of thing that you all do, you have the modules, you have your uh, per system, you have the activities online, offline, telesidang, tugasan, ujian, exams, and your intensive course, which is coming up very soon. Uh, has that? That probably not change much in terms of the system, but I would like to highlight the context of my discussion uh, because uh, when I say fine tuning, we have to fine tune something. Um, obviously, the system is already not a point of contention because uh, we have a you you have a work. Everybody uh, who is uh, offering something have a working system. Otherwise, they won't be able to uh, offer any kind of connectivity. But now, because of as a result of COVID, I this uh, context of discussion is now we have enhanced connectivity. Okay, uh, but uh, everybody have enhanced in connectivity. In fact, probably uh, people have more than one handphone. <laughs> yeah, I, iPad and then uh, these um, all sorts of gadgets now, and people are creating content. You no, know, people have cameras and lightings and blah blah blah, microphone. So we have enhanced connectivity now. People are going live, people are going recorded, people go on TikTok, you go on Facebook. Uh you know you 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 can live record anywhere you go uh, except go to the toilet. <laughs> so now uh the, the objective now is kind of to fill in the blanks with teaching and learning. Okay, we are not worried about the connection anymore the connectivity is kind of uh or if i can say uh, boldly say is kind of a given now we have to look at into the use of online online is in bold and color and uh the my 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 uh my highlight of the discussion capabilities and offline you cannot assume that we are online all the time so um, offline mechanism must team must still come into play then we talk about blend hybrid learning. Uh, no, there's even a hybrid professor of uh, technology now. Uh, in my, in my, from my standpoint, I think there's always been a blend and hybrid or whatever semantics you want to you want to to interject. So now, uh, just to impress on the lecturer, which is to operationalize e-learning and or online learning, where there are lots of options out there, and the only thing. That, is stopping you is either your boss or your imagination <laughs> okay so you know uh, you can have a formal platform you can have your own platform and nobody gonna stop you the whole objective is to get kind of content going for the benefit of the learners out there not only probably in malaysia but also anywhere in the world that you care to reach if you have in a good enough content to share so we are looking at the use of mobile devices, smartphones, iPads, uh, whatnot, uh, and then use of uh, connectivity like uh, um, WhatsApp, Telegram, Zoom, WebEx, use of softwares. And uh, like I said, I, that I have always said, we have more technology than we probably know how to use. And if we die, technology will still be there forever and ever. At the end of at the end of the day, I'm try, I'm looking at the engagement of the learners. Okay, uh, so we need and my fine tuning is focused on engagement of learners, where now we have to kind of enhance co-creation, co-learning. Okay, so now this is a, not an old thing that I say, but I think we need to revisit this to fine tune this. Okay, uh, we can we we have always said that we need to impart this kind of experiences to the learner you know we have to uh, for, for odl to challenge them to excite them engage um inspire motivate stimulate and how you can you can read lah. it's okay i don't have, i don't have to read but this is my my task for you all of you any of you anyone who is listening uh i know you have online lectures you have recorded Blah, blah, blah. I have seen because recently PJJ had a competition of the best portal which uh, I know Sapa Menau now. Ashraf ke? Who was the winner? Okay, whatever the case may be. Now, can you do this or not? Can you go back to whatever content you have created? Okay, the online content. Online ke offline tak kisahlah. Because uh, uh, actually it makes a difference because uh, reading online 
and reading uh, your uh, ni apa apa nama ayuh apa ni apa moderator nama apa lupa lah Mr moderator apa nama ayuh Hafiz Hafiz Ya sorry on tour orang mau ada buat apa lupa ni 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 Hafiz you see yeah. you see using uh, printed module kan Yeah Okay, okay. Printed module also use mana in the online platform pun also adalah content that is uploaded ha, by. Ada. Okay, okay. Sebab model untuk mobile learning. Ah, tak kisah lah. Asalkan, I mean, it's, it's available online lah. Ha. Alright, right, right. Okay. So the thing is, reading a, reading a printed book in the home and reading online is eh, different. <laughs> Sometimes it's more of an encumbrance to read online. It's easier to read the textbook. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, easy. it's my my thirty years of of teaching. You know, it's easier to carry the book. It's easier to and you know, online. You can switch on online. You can turn the page like electronic book. You know, you have to turn left and right. You know, it becomes for the adult learner a bother. Yeah. Okay. So you may you have good content fine I'm not saying I'm not touching the quality of the content I'm saying the 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 the, the learner reaction to the content that's available uh, in the printed form and also available online now it doesn't matter whether it's printed form I would like to you revisit that also in the online form can you maybe maybe the word determine there is not appropriate lah. can you identify where in uh, your online content yang challenge the learner where in your online content inspire the learner okay where in the online content captivate the learner motivate the learner stimulate the learner blah 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 can you identify uh, this is my 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 <laughs> Uh, no need to pass up task to all of you. You go back. We need to fine tune this because the learners are on their own at home, wherever they may be. You, this is not a face to face class. Face to face class, you can see some body language, ke, you can see some k -k dot eyebrow, ke, you can see somebody looking out the window, ke, or chit chatting at the back, whatever the case may be. Might be, be, be difficult to do if you have a 200 class students in the class, but generally it's is observable now when learners are at home you can tell how they feel what they feel uh, you are just presenting your content and assume your content is going to uh, blow their mind <laughs> so to speak so can you uh, do this for me for yourself lah. you 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 don't need to pass up or whatever case may be. just to fine-tune because uh what you present to the learner your tutorial in print is like you talking to them must do all this kind of thing if not all a bit lah not all lah i think all mati lah saya pun mati juga okay <laughs> <laughs> where in your content that you have presented to the learner online or offline that stimulate them that motivated them that Captivated them. So they read like sometimes you read a novel, you know, you can't put a novel down. It's so captivating. It's so exciting, you know, the way it's written, the way, uh, even if you talk in class, you cannot talk. Da, 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 da. You, in your class, you have intonation so that, you know, you know when your voice goes up and down, you walk left and right. So you also have this kind to kind of uh, engage them, you know, uh, you know, so uh, to enhance some kind, your your tone go up and go down. So suddenly those who want to fall asleep, suddenly wake up, you know, because you're, oh, you <laughs> enhance a bit of your... So can you do this for me, No, no, no. I think do this for yourself, lah, because this whole objective is to fine tune. Down, we focus on the learner, the teaching, the learning. Where, where in your content can you identify presentation that engage? I think engage is not such a problem because we have in view, in built in there, much um, uh, in text questions and whatnot. Kind, I mean, from this is the design of the learner, uh, the module where you kind of have brick, uh, what? Apa ni? Breaks lah, breaks lah. So you don't have, you don't, you don't present five pages of text without any break of some kind of retention, knowledge retention, or practice, or example. There is, I think, engagement is not a big issue. 
how to excite them, how to stimulate them, how to captivate and inspire the content that you present. Uh, it's not easy, but I think it's a challenge and it's probably easier to do it online. Because online, you now probably have access to kind of uh, uh, videos that you can embed or you can create something of uh, rhetoric documentary that you can show that enhance the application, the theory, or, you know, you can have discussion or collaboration that can kind of enhance and uh, motivate the learners. But can you identify where in your content these elements exist? Elements of captivation, elements of motivation, elements of in inspiration when students read the good inspired by whatever you say or whatever example you have given whatever thing that enhances the content you are trying to portray if you can do that i think that will be a uh, first step of my uh, issue on fine tuning odl because uh, like i say odl is not going to go it is it's going to be there so we can only kind of make it better by fine tuning now uh, the, 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 the 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 content the content eh? uh, uh, content is content is content lah. i mean you can read a book you you know i mean you're not you're not creating you, you just uh, like even in the lecture you know and the content is already there but how to actually even when you speak you can speak like you're reading your news but you can speak in a very uh captivating manner the way you present you can uh, you can engage the learner while you present so this can can be done face to face but when the students are not there and all they have is just uh, looking at your slides online or reading the text in the module um, this need to exist in some form if not all some of it, like certain subjects do not land very well to being uh, uh, much like physics at least stimulation is very okay because you can have simulations you know simulations where you can actually change the parameters and you can play around by changing parameter and you can see things so it's very stimulating by using simulations then so it, it's also captivating you know so uh, i also can spend some time looking at the pendulum changing <laughs> the perimeter the length uh, the angle blah 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 and can when you connect it to an oscilloscope you can see how the wave function move when the or the, the the pendulum swing uh moves also so any any questions so far before i uh proceed i don't intend to pick to take too much time i don't have too many slides i don't have fantastic slides it's just uh, trying to get some idea through so we can have some kind of uh fine tuning in our delivery of our odl courses anyone wants to say anything or oh, want to speak also no problem uh happy ada siapa siapa nak apa apa you successfully address the challenge with uh, i uh much can you share uh, an example of a specific instance where you successfully address a challenge related to student engagement in your online course hmm, my online course mm -hmm. okay okay i uh okay actually uh when i was teaching in usim i actually traveled a lot <laughs> not more than i was in I was in uh, USM, uh, you know. Uh, uh, so, although I was teaching face to face, I kind of embedded ODL punya punya methodologies lah. So I I, I design the punya apa punya um, content for the week that I was away. But I also instructed them to actually uh, make a recording of their own discussion while learning. I gave some question where they need to discuss. So they they had uh, so they, so so uh, so I put a uh, now handphone is very easy. They can can they can put a handphone there and we showed them discussing group by group. So then so that was very engaging and I think I I would like to think that it was a, a challenge to them to actually do some meaningful discussion and not just say baca 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 say baca rotor baca baca no 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 you know I so they actually posted to me the the punya video five minutes maybe just less of the actually discussion of uh, to that's the use of the mobile device I was not in Malaysia I was somewhere else 
So I could see then I can I can have a I can have a I mean, com communicated with with the group. I had a we have a class WhatsApp group in the in the WhatsApp group. So I think uh, um, banyak lah boleh buat. Like, and, and I was in USM. I started to use mobile my mobile my mobile by sending um, uh, weekly chunks of a daily message of content that comes from the module. Um, that was the first time I used the mobile learning uh in 2007 and that won an award as well you know and when i came to we can when i came to usim i use the same concept but now i embed in the flip flip concept and I link this to a a, a a video or a document so no keep them engaging keep them engaging and then when you come to class we do the discussion so they're always they're always there with the call they're not not only when you come to class only you discuss uh break out uh, Synchronous, I know, I think, break, when that breakout room? Breakout room. Uh -huh. Now we have breakout room, this is for, untuk synchronous session. Uh, yeah, you can have breakout room for synchronous session, but you can have, uh, the, students discussing on their own and, and sharing, you know, you don't have to do everything synchronous all the time, you know, we, as long as the students are engaged in some form, engaged in some form. Synchronous is a luxury lah. Sometimes when you need everybody to need to be in the same place at the same time. Uh, now we're talking about the distant learner where they not they might not be in the same place at the same time. But you see, you have some kind of uh, breakout room. Just like just like if you have if you have an online if you have an online conference, you the conference might run for a few days. And they have breakout sessions where the breakout is on all the time. People just come in and out, in and out. You know, if somebody there for discussion, they can just paste it on the board. So it becomes an like asynchronous uh, 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 engagement. So there are many ways of doing it, actually. You don't have to be uh, synchronous or uh, all the time. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm answering your question, but but like, like I said, the the, the 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 flexibility is there. And it depends for what purpose. Even for teaching and learning, you don't have to be uh, asynchronous or synchronous all the time. Uh, it depends on what exactly you're trying to do. Uh, but my point is, use both. Use synchronous and asynchronous. You know, we're not we're not uh, synchronous all the time or asynchronous all the time. It's a it's always a combination. And you know, like I say, it's it's open, it's down to your imagination how to actually uh, do it. Or you know, and the subject group talk together and discuss how you can do it as 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 a, as a group. Uh, that's why sometimes I'm not sure why this LAM software L A M S did not catch on. It's so powerful. It's so versatile. And uh, but nobody kind of uh, I've not seen any serious use of LAMPS learning activity management system. I tried to use it, but um, uh, yeah, uh, dengar, <laughs> lama, tak dengar. Yeah, I, I write LAMPS, but then it's a very highly designed concept, so people can't be bothered, they just kind of take the easy way out. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yani, tolong lah. If you, if you are, if you are, yeah, maybe pupus lah. But then it's, it's, it, it serves design wise, you can still use it. Although you don't use the system, but you can use the mechanism that exists. And it gives you a lot of ideas where to put a stop gap, where to put this, where to ask them to do activities, where to, you know, uh, cuma online tu dia ada lah. Mana they put a gate there as long Kalau siapa tak, tak jawab, then the gate will be stopped. Uh, when the gate is open, then everybody will go. So uh, there is a good, uh, yeah, yeah, correct. The design principle are still relevant, correct. So if you can use it as a guide, although you're not, uh, you're not running it online, uh, it's uh, they say they have enough icons there for you to uh, give you a lot of ideas what to do. You know, because you can you can embed that in a timeline software as well. You know, banyak benda boleh buat lah sebenarnya. Banyak benda boleh buat. Okay, so if you can do this for yourself, just identify where in your content elements of this exist. Challenge, challenging element, exciting, exciting, excitement element, engagement, inspiration, motivation, stimulation. 
enhancement and also captivating elements and when you're talking about sejarah ke uh, talking about 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 physics uh. in physics i teach i use the concept of entropy entropy tapi entropy ni kalau you nak hafal entropy you pening ah tapi kalau you kata entropy macam ni the way i the way i the way i corner it i say entropy roughly speaking lah is the degree of disorder don't put me on that it very it's roughly so if you go to a mosque okay you go to a mosque you sembahyang dalam you pray in the mosque you always pray in the same spot i kata why should you pray this your entropy is very low you should increase your entropy by praying in many different spots in the mosque <laughs> Not only will you increase your entropy because you are all over the place, but every place you pray will be sucky for you in the year after. Ha! So, so they might remember entropy not because of entropy, but because of the mosque. <laughs> you know. So this is a way to kind of enhance and stimulate and and captivate them with the application of concept, very simple everyday life concept, but highlight the uh, the, 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 the 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 concept. Ah, yeah, itu saya lah. I mean, like I said. Find a way in your in your course whether you're talking about biology, chemistry, what way, mathematics. Uh, that you are the subject matter expert. So you should know how to actually captivate the learner and motivate the learner and trying to enhance and stimulate from the theory so that when there's some app, 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 applicable elements, say, oh, nampak, oh, you know, I can use statistical mechanic to calculate how many people might probably come to your wedding. <laughs> Boleh? Ada. Uh, when you do all those kind of things, then the 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 content doesn't become boring. It becomes relevant. It becomes uh, exciting. Tapi kena pandai lah lecturer tu. Bukan kata tak pandai, tapi the wisdom yang doing it. Okay. So now, let's let's kind of move um, some bit to the fine tuning that I'm trying to give like this might not be new to all of you but uh, whether we have done it or not whether it's uh uh and and i i think it's is now very very doable because of the uh online capabilities that we have now so we should be trying to do if you have done i will salute you Number one video lecture. I think PPPJJ video lecture ni tak ada masalah dah lah. Memang dah ada dalam Apple system. I put tengok. I couldn't I couldn't get in because I don't have the password. But nampak banyak lah kursus semua many courses. So you have a, you have a playlist. You have a search drop down. So that one, where well and good. Online. What about offline? <laughs> okay. What about offline? So maknanya with the the, the multiple format still might be relevant this is for this student lah, because you cannot assume people have connectivity all the time kadang -kadang, you know it's more convenient to go to study offline rather than online you know so this is a consideration maybe you can do a short survey whether learners need any offline assistance or they are okay with just online uh, other than the, the, the module any any need to or it can be you can burn a CD on demand or something. I don't know. There's some mechanism lah, but the money. Kita the whole point is to fine tune it lah, to fine tune it. Okay, semua kepada benefit of the learner. I am looking and from the learner standpoint. Okay, so if I were a learner, uh -huh, okay, if I were a learner, then sometimes uh, the self instruction of content is easier to carry in the pen drive. Now people are learning tajwid. Pen drive, selling pen drive, it is eighty ringgit complete touch with in a pen drive because sometimes you don't have a CD player, okay? And pen drive you beli cocok dalam kereta pun. Sometimes the ni cars uh, don't even come with the CD player. They come with the pen drive. Apa apa what what for your for your for your pen drive? Uh, CD player pun tak ada some cars lah some cars ada dulu-dulu punya ada dengan deck kat belakang you put 10 CD at the back you know changer blah blah when the changer kaput you pun kaput lah okay so these are things that can be fine tuned ah uh, self channel content uh, maknanya you are ready for all possibilities uh, someone might prefer to take a, a pen drive it's easier for a pen drive you know cocok kat pen drive je dalam kereta pun boleh kau nak dengar macam some uh, lectures and, and lectures can be prepared in many forms like an audio book 
but not a lecture like lecture one hour lecture lah you take a topical like a five minutes like people put in tiktok two minutes one minute you know very 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 relaxed listening while driving of relevant content one uh apa dia makin podcast uh, okay yeah 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 betul 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 yes yes podcast i mean podcast also can uh, no the mechanism is there for you lah podcast you boleh uh, pen drive pun boleh uh, boleh tak ada masalah uh, spotify boleh mobile mobile device okay so people uh, can play back on the mobile device nanti kan google dia nak tengok ways tu tu dia boleh function uh. But my point is that lah. My point is that the availability of this kind of uh, 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 connectivity that is that is afforded by the connectivity that we have now. You know, in the car pun ada uh, pen drive ini, boleh pakai handphone in the car, boleh pakai handphone in the car. Uh, kadang you nak nak wish for direction, and then uh, you you ask your wife to wish for direction, and suddenly you find her playing a game. Kita orang ni mana nak butuh kamera dari game nak pilih wish, no you miss the turn, blah blah blah, gaduh orang. <laughs> ada ya. <laughs> Uh, what I'm trying to say is that lah, it's normal lah. Tapi the thing is, the thing is, the 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 the, the emphasis is on the learning that one can be done to kind of fine tune this kind of concept. Okay, uh, tutorial question. I don't know whether you have done this or not, but I have the uh, more content. Yeah, audio. Yeah, but you must also remember people are not just audio learners. They can you know, also. Those are very good with audio. Will be all listening very well. Those are not don't like audio too much. That we uh, distraction when you are driving. Uh, so it will, will be a different different story. So maybe uh, a, a, a pen drive or CD or print is still relevant. Depends on you know. But I'm trying to say we have multiple multiple formats. Multiple format, not just one format. If only one format exists, then you appeal to only one kind of learner that really prefer the audio mode you know some not all prefer the audio mode tapi itulah maknanya still kita chakna dengan the learner punya preferences <laughs> okay now tutorial question uh, i'm not sure whether you have done this or not I, again it can be in so tutorial question this i have done for a long, long time uh i always have a i i prepare about a, a bunch of tutorial questions. I have the experience of one course when I was in the UK in 1970 or 1981. He came in and handed everyone an envelope. And inside there are 100 tutorial questions. So all he had to do was say, do question four, da da da. da, da. So what you, I, I personally did, so it was so my tugasan. Okay, for your two question one, do question six, do question nine, do question twenty-five. That's it. I don't even repeat the question inside the uh, the instruction. So they, they already have those tutorial question. Uh, this can be prepared in advance. Uh, for them, it can it can exist in uh, many forms: uh, print form, CD form, ka, pen drive form, ka, whatever lah. Can, boleh lah. Can. This kind of, the, the, the magic of this kind of thing is when you do, you do once. Kalau tidak, every time you know what to do a question, you what? Every time you do you and you spend another two hours with it. And there's a need to tutor a question, you must be sent tomorrow, tonight you want to do blah, blah, blah. You spend once, you spend some time, you prepare this once, and then it can exist and the, uh, until and, and when, when you want to change the question, ka, or the, nanti, uh, nanti ada sikit lagi, where even this, ask the student to make question, whatever it can be like. So this is an uh, advanced advanced planning. ODL is management and planning. I told you. you know, everything must be advanced. There's no immediacy. You cannot say, oh, tomorrow class cancel. You cannot do that. Everything must be presented in advance, planned in advance. So when you want to do all these things that you will be listening, it's also uh, uh, advanced. When you want to, let's say, ask a student to do some kind of activity, you can say, okay, next year, next semester, we're going to do. So they, they, everything must be prepared in advance and notified in advance. So they are not caught uh, so that we don't want to be it, uh, it to be a, 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 a encumbrance on the actually a, a already actual learning that had. Okay. 
but the 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 way behind it is what what we are trying to do now is to in a way embed that to become a learning activity that forces them to read uh, this is where we come back to the uh, uh, captivating engagement and stimulating them because Kaluso, if they you just them to read the module it becomes very very boring and they might not even read the module more than once and when they whatever they read also they probably can't remember okay so not like that we'll, we'll get in the discussion of whatever is coming next so okay pass your questions with answers uh are you I, I'm, I'm 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 not seeing the chat I'm not seeing the chat lah. I, I don't know why I'm only seeing my slide and only a small window of me and you up there. So tak nampak, tak nampak chat lah. Tak nampak chat. I'm going to I'm going to nanti hilang tu. I'm going to So I'm not sure what uh, yeah. Soalan dari uh, ni ada uh, if we have multiple format of material, is it ha. still the content is the same? Uh, example, reading back the written notes for audio resources. Uh, not necessarily the same. Some you got if you uh, like 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 your okay. Are you uh, are you are you are you trying to say that your printed module is the same as your online content? Is it same? Exactly. The same. Um. That would be my question, Prof. I am Mahlinda Yu from University of Tenaga National. Okay, okay. Uh, so if, let's like, say, uh, we have the module, uh, the, the, the self-instructional uh, module, uh -huh. then we want to prepare for the audio, audio okay. file, for example, like, uh, just to accommodate the audio person. Are we reading okay. back the materials or it should be something else? Uh, it should be something, okay. Technically speaking, is the, the content that you, okay. If you... Kalau zaman dulu, kalau zaman dulu, you have a file. The module doesn't come with text. The module come in a file. That file has text. It has videotape. It also has audio tape. Itu zaman untuk nandok lah. Zaman, 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 zaman. So the, the, the learner will get the file which has an audio file and a video, video, video audio cassette, video cassette. Zaman saya lah, zaman lapu puluh dulu. So when you the student learner is reading the text, then the the instruction in the text will say now play the audio text from whatever to whatever, and then do this exercise. So there uh, So now it's easier because you already embed. So when you have printed text, uh, kalau printed text yang macam doesn't require audio or video, it becomes text je lah. Okay. So generally speaking, the text module becomes very boring because there is no um, nothing audio or video embed in the text unless you give an audio cassette or video cassette or a pen drive which has audio video capability for you to cocok dalam pen drive to instructed by the by the text to to, to view whatever is in the pen drive. Boleh lah tu. Maknanya it's still same content, still same content in an online or in offline. No, kalau macam macam text and the pen drive is probably can be offline. Online means you must have online capability, other you cannot, cannot view the, the audio and the video. If you have audio and video lah. I see. Thank you, Prof. Ah, but are, you, are you okay with the answer? I mean, technically speaking, it's the same content. Yes. Uh -uh. Thank you. Uh, but but the, 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 the online has slightly more enhanced capability when you kind of embed a forum for discussion. I see. Ada ada dia actually sama because when we were doing things in the archaic manner in PPJJ dulu kita ada kita ada kita ada answering machine. Do a student can actually ask question <laughs> through the answering machine and whatever message in the answering uh, uh, telephone will be given to the lecturer for query. Ah itu memang memang zaman zaman batu lah. But now you have this uh, on WhatsApp can ask through WhatsApp. So the process is the same. Why is Old technology and new technology. Dan, <laughs> so kalau macam khusus yang ada audio video tu, technically speaking, you should, say you should have an audio tape and video tape macam zaman dulu lah. Ah, PPJJ pun ada juga audio tape video dulu. Dan, but now because everything is online, so everything can be 
quote unquote dumped online. Uh, but the but the thing is, you must have connectivity lah. Otherwise, you also cannot access the content that exists in the uh, in the in the repository or in your platform. Into uh, Okay. So now now get back. <laughs> The past year questions, we now look at, if I were a student, I'll be very happy to get past year questions with answers. Because sometimes, kita kata, student ni tak jawab. They, they don't know how to answer properly. Yeah? They, I, probably they don't know how to answer properly. <laughs> okay. Have you heard of Minerva publication? Lah? Ni orang lama-lama tahu ni. Minerva, M-I-N-E-R-V-A. Dulu, they used to publish from six books with, uh, apa ni, past year questions with answers. Karim, ni ya. If you still, if you still there. or people who are as old as me, when you're uh, like studying for form six and HSC, they, 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 this this pub, this Minerva publication will publish or pass your questions with answers. It can be another form of learning because you look at past your question and you look answer. You belajar lah. You you actually learning. The learning process is there when you actually uh, looking at the past your question and looking at the answers. Uh, the, the three is to ask them to copy back the answer because so you are practicing answering the questions on your own by copying the answers. Bukan, jangan, not read, not read like a novel. You can't do that. So there must always be writing. The hand must be, be must be connection with the brain. The brain, the hand, the hand, the brain, and the eyes. So you look at past your question with the real answers proper answers so that the student know how to actually answer the question sometimes uh, student kata oh i wrote a lot tapi you know mungkin tak cukup content so a uh, student get a b c blah blah some you will fail although they uh, have uh, written a lot but a lot of rubbish no point yeah so pass your question can 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 be you can enhance that you can fine tune that by doing pass your question i i mean you don't have to do one short 10 year question do lah one year one year one year kan and then you can add on now now putting up in the internet your google doc ke apa okay. but now the technology has facilitated this in so so many ways easier than before you know so so leverage on the technology that can make it very easy uh put up in the in your google doc ke apa ke uh, file ke, sharing file ke, later on you compile uh, into a, 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 a PD, uh, into into a small booklet. No? Itu pun boleh PDF, you don't have to print it, you know, you know, it's still, uh, as long as it's available for the learners to look at past your question and the real, how to answer it properly. Okay, so this is helpful. This is also can be like uh, nak kata problem based learning boleh juga but not not problem based learning in the in the street protocol lah but they look at a past question and answering it should become a kind of uh, reverse uh, looking at the rather than reading the content looking at the question based on the content and looking at how the question is answered okay boleh juga yeah, so let's let's kind of do a bit more fine tuning to this kind of emphasis on the learning and uh, whether in ODL ke face to face boleh lah ni ODL face to face pun become sama lah dalam 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 face to face pun dah ada element ODL pun dah ada element distance learning pun so actually dah jadi macam uh, a, a blend lah a blend a blend you know you know this is a good, a good blend I would say you know it's, it's uh, as long as it's beneficial to the learner I'd say it's a good blend. There's no more, no more decision, oh, you orang jarak jauh, you orang face, tak ada, tak ada. Nowadays, you don't know who's behind the screen, you don't know, blah, blah, blah. So, it can be uh, leveraged in a, in a nice way of, of, of uh, using the book. Like, for me, I was teaching face-to-face -face and I was teaching uh, distance learning at the same time, since 1980. So, I was I'm marrying both. When I disappear to a conference, I design my face-to-face -face in a distant learning punya, punya content. One week, what's going on activity, blah, blah, blah. And then when technology came, I even asked them to record their, 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 their discussion and send to me through WhatsApp. You know, they have to wait for me to come back uh, from conference. And, um, and some lecturers I know even conduct online lecturers from wherever they may be. Doesn't matter. Okay. Dah, dah buka handphone dekat situ, cembang dekat budak-budak di online class, okay je. So, guna lah teknologi. So, things has been changed. So, you can, and student pun, don't, you don't have to have uh, kelas tambahan ke, kelas ganti ke, tak payah. Kan? You do within the capability of 
uh, your online. So, but this thing must be prepared. Man, you can tell the students these are the dates that I will be away. Uh, jangan uh, you dah hilang baru. Oh, tomorrow we go online. Tahu dia lah tu. Everything is planned in advance. Okay, so they know that you're going to be away certain certain days. So they have to be prepared for they have online lectures during that time or some kind of uh, this the open learning punya concept for the content in the time that I'm gone. So this is planable and it must be notified. It must be so that you no, nobody needs to be uh, unless it's, it's actually real emergency. I should like, but that is all very planable, very planable. So it can run very smoothly. There's no compromise in the quality of your teaching and learning. And a student born, I think, happy. You born happy. Everybody happy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, uh, pass your question with uh, answer. Like I said, it can be in a print form or even CD form, or even in a pen drive form, whatever case, as long as there is some kind of connectivity to get the uh, questions across. So this one is uh, learner to construct, learner to construct for either from your video conference or your videos or reading of the module. Okay, these are all learner based activities. Okay, uh, which I have done myself. I, I wrote that in I, in my book, uh, my teaching memo. I think some of you found bound book. So some for some of you, uh, this is not new lah. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, like what I used to do is after a, 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 a lecture or one or two lectures, I asked the student to co construct a multiple choice question based on the last two lectures. Uh, they, they don't, normally my class, when I was teaching face-to-face, -face, like um, uh, about three or four in the group. So now after two, two, one or two lectures, they're supposed to construct a multiple choice question from the notes, from the lectures. Okay, so you will end up with many, many multiple choice questions. Bagus tak bagus cerita lain lah. At least they create, they constructed the multiple choice question. Now, in the construction of multiple choice question, dia kena baca. They are forced to read. They are forced to read. And, and constructing multiple choice question is not so easy. You have one right answer and four wrong answers. So they also have to, they also have to construct four wrong answers. So automatically, there is a there is a learning activity there. Uh, okay, maybe we they probably realize that or not. I don't know lah. But then this is the point of doing that. Then they have to also create for frequency asked questions, and for the frequently asked question, they also have to provide the feedback to those questions. Again, this forces them to read and understand what they're going to give as a feedback or not understand, I don't know, but at least there is a feedback that probably based on your notes or from the book, of course, from the internet or whatever. Lah. <laughs> but it again forces them to read and you can have a bank, you can have a collection of frequently asked questions that can be used uh, in the next round. So the more FAQ that the student can get their hand on, their hands on, <coughs> can become a form of revision and a form of uh, reading. I also, in my experience while teaching, ask them to construct a crossword puzzle. I think this one can remember what you are. Crossword puzzle. After one or two lectures, or you give them a topic, create a crossword puzzle. It's very easy. Now you go to the internet, you have a crossword puzzle generator, and they give you instruction, put in the answers, and then they will construct the structure of the crossword puzzle, and you put in the question. So again, in order to create this crossword puzzle, they have to read. <laughs> okay, they have to read. And then, uh, they have to read. So, in a way, this enhances their reading, uh, engage them in the reading. This is coming, coming back to the, all the things that you, uh, you are trying to embed in. Uh, challenge them to read. Uh, they're not just maybe the notes because there's notes does not have enough content to make a multiple choice question. They may have to refer to some internet content or whatever the case may So it enhances already their punya knowledge. You know, like I said, you only have a one right answer and uh, either four or five. Uh, three or four wrong answers and that it also needs some thinking so they know what's right what's wrong without you teaching him okay so this is now this is um the last one is probably something that uh can be used as a uh 
task that can have some reward to the learner. Ask them to create a video bank. Maknanya, they can find a relevant video that is associated with the topic or the course, but they must view the video and write a synopsis. Like in this video, this is what you learn, this is what you will see. Yeah, yeah. So maknanya, in, in doing that, they actually go through the video and actually learn something to write something. So in a way, again, forces them to view the video, not just upload, boom, tengok title, gedung, upload, no, no. They have to read, uh, uh, look at the video and highlight what did in, in this video. This is what you learn, this is what you will see, uh, this is how it relates to our course. And then post to you, you can post in the video bank of the contribution. Learner. Okay, keep this open. Keep this open. Maknanya, in the beginning of the semester, you said, I want you to create a multiple choice question, blah, 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 but keep the the the, apa, the repository open so students can send anytime. As long as they send, no deadline, send. Mana after two lectures, and they, uh, so when they fulfill that, it's entirely up to them. But they must fulfill, but it doesn't mean everybody must send next week. Blah, blah. You know, keep it relaxed, keep it relaxed. So they are not heavily challenged, but they still have to do it. You know, so, you know, it also pisses them to actually, I need to do this, I need to do this. So, so they, they put other some kind of, uh, some kind of, um, some kind of responsibility to actually doing it so that they have to, they can, they need to upload in the FAQ bank, in the crossword puzzle bank, in the MCQ bank, or it is, you can keep this video bank kind of option, optional. Maybe not all, only all of them are, good enough or capable enough to actually view the video and write a synopsis but sometimes even the video bagi the synopsis too tapi that's not the point the point is when they do it themselves they are kind of repeating and they are again some some with the hope of some knowledge retention will stick when they go through the video and the content they actually view the video it's like doing through the content a little bit and when they write the synopsis again it enhances their understanding so all these activities is is an alternative to just reading the text, you know, and it, this this forces them to the embedded activity that forces them to read the text <laughs> rather than ah baca mondu, baca mondu, no, yeah, baca mondu, but then there's no activity to actually uh, enhance the, the knowledge retention and uh, and challenge them to read. Okay, so I, I you can try this. I, mean, I, mean, I tried it. I have to, I have tried the, the student, the student, the student love it very much because uh, the best crossword puzzle will be in surprise, blah blah blah. Okay, <laughs> so kena ada carrot lah. You know, I mean, it's a human being. You carrot kena ada. You know, it's how to that would excite them. You know, 50 ringgit to them is a lot of money to the learner, kan? To might, might not be much to you, but 50 dollars to a 50 ringgit to a, to a, a, a student is, <laughs> kan? So, uh, make it exciting lah. Make it exciting, make it uh, challenging, you know, uh, and then uh, 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 I, I wouldn't go so far as uh, when I was teaching face-to-face -face back in Muslim, I also had a learning space in the back of the classroom where student post up notes of the, the lecture every week, you know, so they post up notes. But they, they, ask, they do my memang, memang uh, online and uh, face-to-face. Uh, online, you can do that using your Padlet, uh, if you like. Um, uh, yeah, why not? You can have a Padlet after one, after each lecture, just post some notes on the Padlet. Good, you good. But you can't do all at the same time. You know, you you know, pandai -pandai lah, uh, mix and match. You know, some some student might do more of this than less than that of that. But at least, uh, or you can keep an option. You just you must at least do something. Either you do MCQ or FAQ or crossword puzzle. But the group must do something. So there's some form of engagement and reading of the subject matter. Unless somebody wants to do all. Ah, itu tu pulang lah. Uh, you know, I don't think there's any marks there, but there's uh, is a pretty an exciting way to make them go through the content. Okay, uh, you know, and you can con you can comment back. Oh, these are good questions. These are excellent FAQ. This crossword puzzle is so nice. You know, very balanced. You know, tak ada cengek sini cengek sana. 
uh, give some feedback also. I think it makes the class more lively, more uh, stimulating. That's what I have done in my time. So I think it, it, I can see it work. Lah. So I'm just trying to say here, uh, we can do some fine tuning uh, that might be for the learners. Okay. Uh, you can find a lot of banks uh, in the on the internet uh, on your on resource banks uh, blah 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 so this is a teacher resource bank yeah? uh, among teachers one can share uh, uh, whatever resources that you have for the benefit of fellow teachers in the subject <clears throat> more online okay more online more engaging content for the learners uh, your animation simulation movies there are many movies that can be relevant to some content nowadays you have some movie clips uh, uh not the whole movie perhaps because of copyright but embed some form of uh, the use of movies and actually you can there's a website called teaching with movies i didn't put it here you can go it gives you a whole load of uh, activities that you can do based on that movie and this is legal already teaching with movie uh, they prepared uh, uh the 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 format lah. So you can Google teaching with movies. There are so movies, so many movies uh, that can be beneficial to you. Uh, science fiction movies uh, uh, that relates to physics principle, chemistry principle, uh, the, uh, the medical movies, law movies, social movies. You know, use more engaging content for the learners. Wrong spelling, sorry. Uh, animation banyak, simulation banyak, and movies pun banyak. So make it engaging, and then uh, you probably can have your own. Uh, playlist uh, where you put in uh, this can also be uh, some kind of uh, competition for learners to uh, bring to you the animation or simulation uh, for the benefit of other students you can acknowledge them uh, for the effort and lepas tu, use of timeline software timeline software i like very much i used to use it when it was free <laughs> suddenly later on it didn't become free so i kind of uh this timeline software is memang very heavily used by reporters yeah and you can embed almost anything in the timeline software you can do a review of your course a, a, a kind of a summary of your lecture you can embed a few more audio uh, video clips ka, audio clips ka, uh, some tips ka. so so you follow the entire course of your lecture from beginning until the end and you can people can a student can view it back and forth uh, this is also very very beneficial for you in case you na you na apply for anugrah <laughs> anugrah anugrah teaching negara agama haru uh, this kind of uh, thing can be useful for you as not only as a uh, teaching also as a diary lah macam diary you can you can dump that as a uh, diary for your teaching activities uh, use timeline software uh learner learner uh, learner create uh, this one is the learner learner ask the learner to create the question bank learner create tadi dia buat mcq dia buat so the learner themselves kind of create a question bank the person you see but okay uh, this again for the use of uh as, as a learning process come when they read reading and reading and reading the same content over and over again enhances their knowledge retention it's like called, uh uh macam itulah um, uh, you, there's no way you can read once and uh, be done with it. Impossible. So, and then um, I actually did this in 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 the last few years of my ni. Uh, I used an open book and use of internet in uh, tests. In fact, in uh, in exam, I also had uh, use of internet. And come, uh, mine was a small class, so I can do it. In, I my own class. I don't need to go to the exam hall. So they had a uh, half paper, half use of internet in the exam. Open book, I think, can be done. Well, open book. Open book. For example, like PJJ, ada peperiksaan berterusan. Do it open book. You pun tak pening pala nak buat soalan macam mana. Open book. Give them the book. Open book. Buat soalan. If they can answer. I, 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 any of you tried open book in the peperiksaan berterusan? Try lah. Nothing wrong with that. 
Yes, say student. Ah, semua your test open book. <laughs> Cakaplah siang-siang cakap. Jangan cakap. masa-masa uh, masa 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 exam mau cakap. Oh tu dia open book macam nak budak buku tak bawa. <laughs> you know you can declare from the format of the format of the course kita ada perancangan 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 pengajaran kan. You can say your first test uh, in the intensive course will be open book. Ha. Uh, okay. Why not? Try lah, make it exciting for them. <laughs> they think say, oh, you think it's easy, <laughs> and then they try open book. Okay, uh, alright, open book. So I mean, we're, like I said lah, kita punya objective is to educate them, to make them think, to make them uh, But open open book is an option that can be used to 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 ni. Okay, ni. Okay, this one is kind. Ah, uh, this is again not new. This you can find them. In, you can find this. But I like the concept. The concept is you can. This is called multiple pedagogy. You can have a content, one content. But then you look at look if you look at the bottom here. Yeah, you have a concept, and you have a uh, uh, some kind of animation of that concept. And then there's a gallery, some pictures, some audio file or video file of that concept. A bio, you mean know, about the person that McGregor, Mendel, couple, couple. Then some problem and some links, all based on this concept, one concept. So you do uh, chunk by chunk, but in that chunk you embed all these things. Uh, the animation based on it shows. Uh, it shows. Uh, uh, it shows uh, the 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 uh, the sperm moving blah blah blah. Some uh, gallery means it shows pictures of twins and triplets and blah blah blah. Uh, so them audio file, other uh, some audio file or video file that relates to uh, children resembling their parents. Okay, some problem and some links. So so it's kind of like like a like a like a, when the students sit down for let's say 20 minutes or half an hour there's enough content there to get them excited there's some animation there some gallery so audio video some you know tak ada some, our problem sometimes we teach them we do question next week ha huh, we have dot to tak ingat apa dia belajar okay so you 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 macam macam uh, chunk it that has everything in there macam one 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 stop ada concept ada animation ada some gallery so dia pun uh, I bet they can remember more although there's so many but uh, maybe some parts there's no audio or video tak apalah you put lah animation dengan gallery dengan problem kecuk lah or something it doesn't mean every every chunk must have all those components but I mean but there is, as, a, as, a, as a strategy mana boleh buat lah yang, yang boleh membantu knowledge retention or enhancement in knowledge or understanding of the that chunk Eh, boleh try lah tengok. There's so many ways that you can try to fine tune some more. You punya teaching and and, and the, all the tasks that we need to do to excite them, to motivate them, to inspire them, to captivate them. You know, so uh, and now it's more possible than before because of the availability of technology and millions of videos. Uh, you know, and simulation, animation. Uh, uh, but Beware of copyright lah. Either you refer, uh, quote or reference or ask permission, don't take other people's job and say it's your job. <laughs> I understood lah. Okay. And then this something is very interesting which I also... This is called research-based learning. Turn the, the learning into some kind of research. Okay. Get some new notes from the research paper based on the topic that you are teaching. Because I become book work. It become book work, so boring book work. You pun, but you pun buat nota based on the book work, you know. Try to let the student to, especially macam mungkin fourth year ke final year student ke possible ataupun on campus, off campus, I think it doesn't make any difference. New notes from research papers on the subject that you're teaching. Yeah. Uh, maybe have some reward system, the best people. Or they, they can actually do a mini research. On current issues, we re research buat interview ke apa ke, you know, kek cikit je lah, tak payah lah sampai satu semester punya benda. But the concept of doing a research, very short, macam when I was doing my SMS by mobile device, so I only had about 10 question, 10 to the student, and time I based on that simple, simple, simple questionnaire, I could write a few papers. Uh, so we add value to the content. We add currency, currency, you can do it, currency, current, current issues to the content rather than just 
you take a book that you teach the same book. You know, after 10 years, the book pun dah macam, oh, you, you pun tak nak cakap bersih, tidak apa lah. Okay, so embed some kind of research-based teaching and learning. Uh, you know, and again, my my point is, now it's, a bit, it's possible, even if the student cannot find the paper, you find the papers, Sudan. these are 10 papers. Okay, based on these 10 papers of the topic, write something, new notes or something like that. Ah. Dia nak kat MP kat tak kisah but but then they 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 get to see the enhancement of the application of the concept that they are really not just a uh, textbook content that that yeah that, that, that you use the same notes oh, the last got notes how many years so it has, so these notes can also be used in the next semester on or you can add more and more and more and more notes based on these five papers these are the new notes from the five papers and the papers every year change papers every year change people write papers you know and issues is issues change so you do a mini research or new notes from uh five latest papers on this uh, uh keyword uh, again like i said to add value the content uh, it can be done and again nowadays facilitated by uh, papers you can access for papers from authors in in academia in research gate or if you know or papers that is in your your own your own your own your own collection yeah you paper they also they much so they have what some new notes from the paper and present in the class other enhancement excitement in the in the uh, in the in the in the content mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay 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 sikit lagi buat okay yang ni uh, yang ni macam konsep 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 master master chef okay nak kita nak tengok talent of the learners uh, cannot think of talent or the uh, uh, pro uh, get them engaged to do projects to display principles or application of the concept. Uh, boleh tak? Boleh buat. Online boleh buat? Cara tu. Okay. So this is my 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 uh, my take lah. My take lah. Maknanya this thing uh, kita boleh fine tune lagi. You know, all to enhance the teaching and learning, all to enhance and learner competency, learner punya knowledge. Uh, Bukan tak stagnan. The knowledge is not stagnan, and they, they, they apa ni? There's, there's no way they can actually just pass to note notes pass senior senior ni sama je note every year. So, so allow student to choose project and incorporate diverse views into online courses, and then allow student to research their own issues of interest. And so, any and then the whole point is to display principles or application of the concept. And then you, you can all share. Okay, different group, different kind of company project to display principles of application. So there's no way you can teach twenty of those, people, but twenty groups can bring to you, and they can all share and uh, lagi interesting in terms of the learning of the subject or the. Learning. Okay, I think dah pak cukup dah sikit lagi kot. Okay, this one is uh, to me interesting. Uh, you may have heard of it. It's called the entrepreneur approach. That is called an entrepreneur university. Okay, kita ni fokus nak sometimes kita graduate, student graduating without any practical experience in their field, ability to uh, many universities now are actually doing uh, entrepreneurship in the course. They actually created a company small company they actually sell some online products they actually give some uh, services consultancy in a small way and you can see you can find small businesses they have no money to pay <laughs> people you become the consultant they become you become the people your bookkeeping you become the people your whatever the case may be you know so you get the practical uh, they might you might get paid by them maybe some honorarium but you have practical experience in actually uh, applying your knowledge 
It, this is not new actually. This is not new. But so so uh, and there are there are there are universities that after the, the student graduate, it become a full blown company of what they were doing when they were doing as a, a class activity in the real 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 business activity. Small lah, small. Register the company, blah blah blah. You no, know? so you actually use your knowledge in 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 in, in uh, running that small company that you have whether it's consultancy company ke, a small business company or you can sell some bakery product of your university ke, whatever so, but it's an entrepreneur approach i get pjj boleh juga pjj pun kalau ada like student yang mana memang ada in business you know, in uh, your economic class, kapoka, you propose some propaganda, some some uh, some entity in your class that can engage all the learners, and you might even say, okay, everybody invest twenty ringgit each. Can we do this? Blah blah blah. At the end of the day, we, we profit share. It might be not be much. It might be much. You know, you don't know. <laughs> it might. Be, <laughs> so those will be so happy. You know, twenty dollars, you're getting some money back. But it's more of the knowledge, the application. And some services to small businesses that cannot afford any uh, real accountant ke apa ke, boleh lah. I don't know. You 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 choose whether it's a, in biology ke, you talk about all this environmental assessment ke apa ke. So you get to do some knowledge of um, uh, apa ni, uh, environmental impact assessment, blah, blah, blah. And, and get some done to small, small people ke apa ke, farmers ke apa ke. It can be done, eh? Done. Uh, uh, explore lah, explore. Um, wh whatever I say must be explored. I'm not saying it works. You, know, you whatever works for you, try something. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, you forget it, and then you might, you know. Um, but but my my point is there is uh, so many elements to still fine tune kita punya uh, ODL courses for the benefit of the learners, and there are so many benefits uh, of entrepreneurship as the company. Uh, develop uh, social change, enhance, promote research, lah, simulate demand. Uh, I, I believe it can be done. It can be, and kalau you tengok example examples of successful already businesses, uh, India is good at this. India is good at this. You know, where the student really uh, do something based on the purpose. They, uh, kalau macam architecture, they can build something. And you know, uh, yeah, uh, you know, you can, you, but banyak lah you can check sini lah. Uh, okay, I think I not almost done. We have about part dua puluh lah. We believe about five ten minutes uh, for discussion kita sebab ada time soalan apa kan. So this is my point. The point that I like to share to you to kind of fine tune some more, which can be uh, um, doable, planable. And all for the benefit of the learners, and because kita punya current digital punya capabilities pun dah dah okay, kita pun di persegi the the pengetah kepunyaan alat-alat gadget-gadget pun dah okay. Everybody <coughs> uh, ada survey ke tak ada tak ada tak siapa yang tanya tu uh, ada uh, uh, okay okay. Uh, like I said lah, because of what our environment now, you know, uh, uh, there are so many people uh, working from home, business from home, uh, <coughs> um, buat pis, buat pis gulai pun, uh, macam macam pun dah dah pandai dah sell online. So <laughs> that is so, you know, it's, it's, like I said lah, it's just up to your imagination to get things done. And this is so important because it's teaching the learners new skill. Uh, new content uh, in a way that excite them, stimulate them, captivate them. Uh, we are also happy to see them grow, to see them uh, successful and, 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 and we have done our job in terms of uh, giving the best for the learners and you know I think there's still a lot more that we can give to the learners huh? that they just uh, run on the meal. Punya tinggi. Okay, I think I stop here. I could maybe one or two questions. I have about five minutes left. I don't want to take more of your time. For thirty, kalau ni nak nak pitch my ass up apa? Eh, aku pun tak fikir. Alright, okay, okay. Alah, you have to. Okay, pak kita nak buka untuk sesi soalan lah. Eh? Boleh boleh. Okay, tapi, mungkin. Tapi kita, I cannot okay. see, I cannot, I cannot see the chat lah. I'm not sure. Do I? I don't. Saya takut nak 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 godak nak godak. Nanti hilang tu deh. Ah. Uh, uh, 
Tak apa saya bacakan kalau ada soalan yang nak ditanyakan dalam chat saya akan kongsikan lah. Boleh 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 no problem. Mana okay, nak? kita akan buka sesi kepada audience untuk soal jawab lah. Untuk waktu-waktu yang masih ada ni. Ah, itulah. Tak ada saya apa ke? Tak ada tak apa. Kita <laughs> dipaksa. Tak komen pun tak apa. Tak tak tanya komen pun tak ada masalah sikit je. Nak tambah sikit ke? Nak, nak share experience ke? Go ahead, no problem. This is a, this is a platform to do it. Assalamualaikum, bro. Salam. Jadi boleh dengar ke? Boleh, boleh. Uh, I'm listening while driving ni, actually. <laughs> oh, ya ke? Masya Allah. Ini multitasking ni. <laughs> uh, bro, we guess if you can share with uh, our audience, uh -huh. uh, how do you address the diversity? Eh? Because... Uh -huh. Especially ODL, eh? ODL students ni come from different background, experience and sebagainya, and motivation. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so in terms of their diversity, in terms of uh, background, motivation. So uh, how do you design the course in such a way to address the diversity? Okay, okay. The only the only plus point in so far as distant learning student or online student, dia punya motivation memang tinggi. Ha, dia punya dia punya dia punya the 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 the, the characteristic of the distant learner or uh, uh, is the intrinsic motivation is high. That is why they can become an ODN learner. Macam budak-budak dalam universiti, dia apa punya dia punya ni, dia punya motivation extrinsic. Dia punya must be rewarded, must be pujo pada ada. And they don't even know why they doing what they doing. Some of them. Distant learning student ni have a, a purpose of doing why they are doing. So they punya intrinsic ni. So that is why kita kena enhance dengan lebih lebih menjaga dia punya motivation dan dah ada tu dengan lebih enhance, lebih menstimulate, lebih mengcaptivate, inspire. That's the content. Must do that. Kalau tidak dia macam dah lah dia dah motivated tapi baca-baca kau macam boring. Ha. We don't want to bring their motivation down. They already have they already have the motivation. Otherwise they will not become a distant learner. Yang dah bekerja, dah ada tanggungjawab, dah kena nak kena belajar lagi. They have a purpose. They have a purpose. That's why they are there. You know, and then the community of learner is also there to assist them when they see all fellow distant learner graduate. You know, uh, ironically lah, I bukan nak kata lah, the, the, the in USM, banyak yang dapat first class physics, first class mathematics, bio, are distant learners. <laughs> These people are nothing wrong with the brain. They know maybe sometimes they don't have the opportunity to continue uh, to university. They have to work, but they're not wrong with the brain. Some of them have uh, HSC A level. Lagi hebat with saya pun. No, no, no. My, my, not saya, but, but the difference between an ODL learner is they have very high intrinsic motivation. We need to keep that motivation there. Jangan kita padamkan dia punya intrinsic motivation. That's why my point is to make them enhance some more. Dengan kita punya content tu lebih captivating and inspiring. Then they will be more motivated to learn to, 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 to sustain. Tak stay. Nak stay ni bukan 3 tahun, 4 tahun, 1 tahun, 10 tahun pun ada. 9 tahun pun ada. You know, and on top of everyday life, responsibility, husband, wife, children. Oh, it's, it's no joke unless you are really motivated to do it, you will not be there to do to do. And and you know, even in, in, in Canada and US, distant learning students are very highly regarded. You know, these people are very organized. You must be organized to go through what you go through to study and run your life at the same time. Uh much you lah dalam kita pun dengan lecture juga. <laughs> you know you, you your intrinsic motivation is very high to sustain what you're doing now, you know, in spite of uh the pension. But you still still there, you know, still there. Uh, otherwise, you will be doing it. So this is from my experience as uh, uh, in associating with uh, distant learners. Uh, they are uh, uh, they are very different. You cannot compare with face to face punya 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 learner. They are, they are very different. Okay, so kita kena maintain ni punya intrinsic tu, not bagi jatuh kena bagi uh, the apa or enhance it some more, uh, motivate them some more. Okay, okay. Thanks, Thank you. All right, welcome. pleasure. Ada soalan lagi? Ah, mana kan tak ni? Bukan senang kita nak berinteraksi. Ah, ada 4 minit. So. <laughs> like I said, anyone wants to comment pun tak apa, tak ada masalah. I okay je. Yeah. 
Okey ah prof saya ada soalan. <laughs> Siapa soalan ni? Ah uh, saya Hafiz. Ah oh, okey okey. <laughs> okey uh, dalam konteks uh, teknologi sekarang kan. Okey. Uh, yang semakin canggih dan uh, advance. Dalam konteks teknologi dan juga pembelajaran secara ODL uh, adakah kita perlu mengabaikan uh, pembelajaran yang secara offline atau kita terus fokus kepada pembelajaran dalam talian sahaja ah, dia pedat tak online ni dia kena connectivity je online doesn't teach you online doesn't teach online connects only ha, so kita kita guna online tu sebagai satu uh, satu kaedah komunikasi saja bagi orang yang kemampuan ada online capability yang tak ada online tu tak adalah kan jadi maknanya the, the multiple format still applies and sometimes some person prefer to be offline dia tak dia tak nak nak, nak melangu dengan handphone saja ke dengan audio saja dia sometimes reading is sometimes easier lebih santai don't have the connectivity don't have gadget nak kena laptop nak ada nak kena you know so if the option is there then people the learner will mana kesesuaian dia ikut keadaan dia kadang dia pergi holiday katakan nak usung dengan dia punya dia 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 guna online. Dia malas nak bawa modul. Kalau kau mah dia macam modul je. So dia pun tak taklah. No mata mata pun tak terperban tengok screen all the time dan sebagainya. So I think the the multiple format to me still work still relevant. Still relevant. Kita tak kita kita menggunakan teknologi secara appropriate orang kata dan dan kita ia dia sebagai satu kemudahan untuk kita. Ha, tapi teknologi tak mengajar, kita yang mengajar. Betul. Tapi kita sedih, kita do the teaching, we are the one who do the teaching, the designing, the delivery uh, dan the yeah anything else that goes with it. Alright, okay. Ada kita. Eh, kita dapat komen dulu. Apa orang apa orang tu? Kita ada 106 orang sekarang ni. Mungkin ada soalan tak akhir yang minta yang audience yang nak bertanya. Tambah lebih lagi di komen atau pencadangan. Nak berkongsi apa-apa ke tak ada masalah. Yeah. Kalau kongsi pun untuk untuk benefit everybody else so kan tak ada masalah. Okey. Dari 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 New Zealand ni apa ke kalau ada yang nak kongsi ke nak komen go ahead no problem. Ada. Ah, ya. Ada tak ada. Tolong nak balik ni. <laughs> Lepas setengah dah awak lagi. Itulah. Okey uh, so macam mana kita masih nak open kepada sesi Q&A ke prof? Uh, well, maybe like one last question. Last oh, last okay, last satu so dua soalan. Last offer. Ya. Yeah. Tak ada je. Kalau siapa nak WhatsApp saya pun boleh nak email tak apa terang salah okey je WhatsApp boleh. Kalau kadang-kadang sekarang ni tak tak datang soalannya balik dah oh kata tanya. Ha mesti <laughs> Okey je. Terah? Okey tak dia saya saya tak dia lagi pun. Alright no problem anyway saya okay. cakap. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having okay. me. Terima kasih kepada semua yang hadir pada petang ini diharapkan agar audiens mendapat input dan pengisian yang bermanfaat Insya dan Allah. daripada penyampaian yang dikongsikan bersama Prof Dr Rosan. Jadi uh, sedikit sebanyak uh, saya memohon maaf jika ada sebarang kekurangan sepanjang majlis berlangsung dan saya ucapkan terima kasih dan assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi. Terima kasih Tuan Dikan. Ada juga Tuan Dikan. Tuan Dikan juga. Ah, buat Tuan Dikan tak kata apa. Oh, katalah sepatah dua kata. Tak apalah. Okay, thank you so much for your support. Uh, saya pun cuma sekadar berkongsi pengalaman, berkongsi ilmu sikit dan harap-harap bermanfaat insya-Allah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih banyak Prof. Sama. Terima kasih Prof. Bye-bye. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Okay.